hello hello everyone welcome welcome to the stream welcome we are girls with sabers my name is emeris and i am here today with my co-host luthien and friend <laughs> yes i'm friend. a friend and a co-host both very important roles yes yes indeed <laughs> yes. hello everyone in the chat hello moderators hello new faces i see a lot of new faces but a lot of old friends as well people who have been here since the inception almost four years ago wow yeah. thank you thank you thank you thank you mm -hmm. welcome 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 uh real quick gotta give a hats off to M right now because i was swamped with work today and she did all the work uh so i was swamped with work but she worked as well <laughs> and got everything ready for the stream so uh she's just gonna tell me what to read and i'm gonna do it and then i'm gonna be the color commentator so <laughs> it, it was a labor of love it's yeah. kylo ren i mean hello yep. <laughs> yep. So i i i have no regret this was a joy to work with it was a it was truly a labor of love <laughs> good there we go. Okay, we have a lot to cover, so mm. I say let's just dive in and begin. What do you say, friend? Hey, let's do it. Glad glad everyone could make it, and uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this thing. Well, uh, a lovely uh, friend and um, follower on Instagram alerted us and told us that there was new concept art uh, released of the rise of Skywalker. It was released a month ago, but no one was talking about it that I could find. And I did a pretty thorough research. I looked at videos. There was one video that talked about it. Uh, I found one tweet that talked about it. So we're like, this is some Kylo Ren information about more of his plot line and development in the movie. And we need to discuss this. <laughs> this is this is uh, this is girls with sabers um, information that we need to pass on. So let's just dive right in. Um, it is from. Let me share my screen so you can you can see. Yeah. This is from John McCoy's art, um, and you can see uh, I I linked his this page below in the description so all can read if you want to but uh lou let's hear about this this journal yes john mccoy writes in this uh star wars the rise of skywalker sketchbook hi all i wanted to share a bit more insight into the work i did with the amazing team on star wars episode 9 the rise of skywalker i'm calling it a sketchbook as you will see, due to the extremely rough and unfinished nature of the artwork. <laughs> that is hilarious to me, because as you see... Because it's... if you look at the art, it's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a, it's a only... I'm gonna... Real tangent, real quick. My husband's a, a drummer, and he... I say, Hubs, you're such an amazing drummer. And people all around him will say, Luthien's Hubs, you're such an amazing drummer. And he goes, meh. But I mean, that's an artist for you. That's a, any type of artist. Music, uh, painting, whatever have you. Uh, I would say eight times out of ten. They are humble. Like, they don't think they're the, they're really good. Like, so-and-so, you're a great guitarist. Eh, I'm decent. I'm all right. Like, <laughs> no, you're shredding. Do you even understand, like, your noodling sounds better than, like, some professional people anyway <laughs> so i love this due to the extremely rough and unfinished nature well anyway okay so uh i digress to start these were some of the very earliest rough sketches i played with simply exploring and feeling out the atmosphere and mood and if you look down all of those are uh Raylo sketches that you will see they're they're pretty dark um if you some notice, we have seen some yes some have been floating around uh before but now he's just releasing this whole sketchbook of stuff yeah which he's is amazing you know like we've seen this one before 
um yeah. which i'd rather not have seen that one before but it's in it's intense it's a little intense. <coughs> yeah but the one that i found very interesting was this one right here because look oh. how despondent kylo is like yep. he's literally looking into an abyss mm -hmm. right here like this is surrounding with white yep he's looking to abyss he's again she is always on the uh he is she's always on the one who is an aggressive stance yep he he's always on the defensive it's just like people who say he's trying to hurt her i'm like what movie are you watching yeah. <laughs> look at that poor man um this reminds me of something ryan johnson liked on twitter uh right when the last jedi came out and, and that was, this was in my head as the sub, the, the subtitle of this scene. Oh, where is it? This one right here. I took your place. I destroyed you. Now I am the new Supreme leader. I have the galaxy in my hands. What more could I want? She, she's not here. What's the use of all this power if she's not by my side? I'm still shattered, Ray. I miss you. And that was liked ah! by okay. Ryan See, Johnson. See, this is like the first time I'm seeing this. So I'm just a part of this live stream like all of you are. <laughs> so when I saw that picture, that's what that looks like to me. Like she has her lightsaber drawn, but he is like so despondent. Um, and, and so... It, it, of course, it's going to escalate to something like this, to Ray being more violent. But I, I really believe that her violence is a fight between two lovers on opposing sides. Just like um, they, it, we, we talk about this over and over and mm -hmm. over again, but it has been um, told to us in the art book. That it's an intimacy of a romantic love story of opposites with that uh, four saber, saber fight between Ray and Kylo Ren. So although it's it looks violent and hostile, it's because there are two lovers struggling with their emotions when they have two different worldviews. I just want to point out that it says intimacy of romantic love doesn't say familial love doesn't say friendly love doesn't say intimacy of of a of, of friendship story yeah i'm just throwing it out there it's it's really interesting to me also in all of these you see little slivers of light yep you see geometric shapes but then you see little slivers of light and and i think that's really interesting mm -hmm. um the only time you see a circle is like the red moon or um, the orb that uh, that Kylo is looking or it's not an orb. I know it's a window, but it looks I'm, I'm talking about shape values, mm. but um, it, it's really interesting to me that he doesn't say anything about what's going on in these images where. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I would be a little bit. <laughs> surprised uh if he did but he goes on to say uh similarly to the previous set of images these were exploratory visual ideas <coughs> simply trying to get back into feel of the world we really aim to maintain the established visual language of star wars whilst also trying to push it further this is one of the most challenging aspects to continuing and expanding such an iconic franchise well i would say he did his job oh yeah i mean th these are beautiful and mm -hmm. we're gonna just kind of float over these because our we're gonna concentrate more on the development of kylo and and ray and this but there's some beautiful art here but i think it's really interesting that he summarizes almost all of these stills but he doesn't summarize these <laughs> well <laughs> this is self-explanatory i mean hello <laughs> I know, but I still want to look at Raylos are the movie. ones talking about it. <laughs> um, I thought this was really interesting. Whoa, if I highlight, it just disappears. I, yep, I got it. 
So yeah. was, we were asked to explore a possible story point of Kylo Ren venturing to an abandoned Coruscant. And as my friends know, abandoned cityscapes are a personal favorite of mine. I aim to convey a deeply eerie sense of foreboding for this story point. Oh my gosh. Abandoned Coruscant. That's amazing. That's Isn't that amazing? So amazing. Like, it's so... I would have oh. loved to have seen this. And look, do you see what he has? He's, He's got his cowl! I know! He's got his cowl! This bald head cowl, Kylo. Oh my gosh. Yes, and he wears his cowl throughout the rest of this concept art, and oh. I'm here for it. I love it so much. But yes, like... I just just look at him. Isn't this a haunting parallel between him walking Very to the banded, but a parallel of him walking into Exegol? Yes. I mean, this yes. looks just like him on the road mm -hmm. to, to Exegol, but it's an abandoned course one. And, yes. and that's, I mean, that's the Jedi code too. Yeah. You know, like the Jedi code is dead. And yeah. it would be such an amazing um, part of a movie i wish they would have explored oh. that plot line a little bit more but oh look at that tie fighter <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, i mean that is just so beautiful guys <laughs> i love that cityscape that is just gorgeous mm. okay mm. these are uh prison cells um and then here I, I've taught I've heard about this there are some of these in the Rise of Skywalker art book but then there are some that are new but this is the story point of Kylo Ren carving through miscellaneous unknown enemies searching for the wayfinder that would guide him to Exegol it talks about how this would have been a scene in the movie where we see kylo at the height of his power mm -hmm. and i think that would have done so much good for his character mm -hmm. you know just and I, I hate to say it but it would give some of it to the segment of the fandom that only responds to force powers mm -hmm. to show how cool kylo ren is you know mm -hmm. how, and when i say cool i'm not talking about the violence i'm talking about his ability to to manage through the force but absolutely we, we've only really gotten that in uh the rise of kylo ren comic yeah series especially him uh you know rip tearing through the zillow bees so i he's so powerful he's so powerful and i hate that he was relegated to his emotional state more yeah. than how absolutely gifted he was in the force both light and dark it's just mm -hmm. the dark overtook him um oh I mean, that looks like aragorn on helm's deep yes oh my I gosh mean, yes like oh the like... horn of helm hammerhand <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't it be awesome if he like did a uh where he puts his sword to his nose and does a salute just like Aragorn oh, does and then I'm fine, 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 I'm fine. Oh my gosh, they're bringing him back. It's fine. It's fine. All while he's wearing his little cow. <laughs> hey, look, his cross guard's white. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, this is the webbish bog. Um, mm -hmm. that is kind of the oracle that he um goes to um you see more of that concept art uh here um that we see mm -hmm. um this is this made it to the um the novel and yes. I, i'm pretty sure that this was filmed as well but for some reason that. it was was deleted but you when you watch that amazing scene of him going through the occult um on mustafar <coughs> you feel like it was cut <laughs> i'm not the only one who feels like it was cut and it oh was. god yeah it was too too um what's the word i'm looking for 
but it had intense, no, intense, intense. All of a sudden, okay, Wayfinder done. It had no rising. It right. had no climax, mm-hmm. and it, here it was a brush. Yeah, the storyboard. You have a climax. You mm-hmm. have a rising action, a climax, and a falling action when he finds the Wayfinder, and it would have been so cool so cool to see so horrifying Mm -hmm. but so cool to see him in his full state of power Mm -hmm. i also love that that oh there look at the light i know he's just outside of it but it's still shining on on some of him oh my gosh this is insanity oh just just sketches that's all yeah doodles just doodle 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 yeah yeah oh god (laughs) This Kylo right here reminds me of Heidi Hastings. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Don't you see Heidi in there? I see. I see Heidi all over the place. Yeah. With it. Yeah. <laughs> and if she animated it, oh, oh, Heidi, play me, please, yeah. please. Um. But yeah. Oh, what could have been? Yeah. Oh, what that's could... a Heidi one too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Just, just we only saw the tip. Yep. of what could what that uh sequence could have been i wish they would have kept that but mm-hmm. it is this is uh more art from pisana mm-hmm. um this is the star destroyer i thought this was very interesting about the blood red carpet mm. um, the only kylo would be allowed to walk on and as we <sighs> see here and that would be very interesting that would have been a very narcissistic turn. Not that he's not a narcissist already, but um, that's interesting to me. He's the royal prince of Alderaan, you know. Mm-hmm. So he 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 had that uh, that sense of entitlement, as you mm-hmm. said. Mm-hmm. That scenes of Chewie being tortured, we're just going to uh, pass over that. It, we yep. just, just said that we did not yep. see blah, that. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, we talked of- about that already in like a, a stream a while back where when that came out. And I'm glad they did not have that in there because, uh, yeah, that would have been yeah. a bit de- detrimental. Yeah, some of this uh, art, um, a few of this art is is in the the visual art book. Um, I, I have it. What's interesting about this scene of of Kylo and Rey being in Kylo's quarters is that Kylo has his mask off <laughs> in mm. some of that art, and this you just see him in his cowl and his mask, which is I'm I'm not fighting it. It's okay, nope. but I think it's. Nope really interesting again the uh play of light and light coming through such a, a dark place mm-hmm. and then red look at this color story guys <laughs> like, yeah. it's, it's just really interesting like look at those all those shards of light mm-hmm. coming through his his quarters yeah um again we see more of the resistant base yada yada um, this is um, uh, Carrie Fisher's. I can't think of her name. Home, home planet. Kimid- is it Kamiji? I can't remember. Sorry. Kajimi. Uh, there we go. There we go. This is when uh, Finn um, leads. And, did you and mean then- Carrie Russell? Yes. What did I say? I think you said Carrie Fisher. <laughs> I don't remember yeah, actually. There, like, and it just happened seconds ago. There we go. You know, Sorry, bliss. Yeah, it's it's. There we go. Okay. Um, again, this is uh, more images of the duel on Starkiller Base. Again, he he is wearing his uh, cape and his helmet. I'm very glad that they didn't keep him in that. I thought mm-hmm. this was particularly beautiful, mm-hmm. and you you do see these images. I think captured on screen. It's um, like venomous. Yeah, <gasps> that is so true. Mm-hmm. Like the the texture of yep. the waves right yep. there, and like how the the shards of the um the uh, Death Star remnants are like you know yeah. brush strokes. Yeah. Yes, Lou, mm-hmm. speak it. Mm-hmm. 
but he said he will have more posts up soon. But yeah, I just love seeing um, more information about this movie. Um, of course, you guys know that The Rise of Skywalker is not our favorite, but it does continue. More of this information does continue. More of development of both Ray and Ben. And I hope Finn someday. I hope Finn mm-hmm. will be given more information and Jana and Rose. Mm-hmm. Um, the sketchbook will continue because I, I do want to know more of the story. That helps me heal. <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I. Uh, yeah. I feel we're getting him back. I mean, look at look at how many years Ewan McGregor was gone, and now he's being brought back as Obi Wan because the fans willed it to be because he was loved so much. Same thing is happening here. It's just a matter of time. Yeah. Just a matter of time, and and so many of us have shown how it could happen how it yeah. could work yeah mm-hmm. shameless Ooh. plug go watch a life day carol by girls with sabers <laughs> speaking of life day we didn't oh i never did i load the shadows of the sith I don't think I let us mm. shadows of the Sith, mm-hmm. but there is a new book coming out with Luke and Lando um, and they're going on adventures. Luke is finding information about Exegol. Uh, he's hearing rumors about a family that needs help that is running away from Sidious. You guys connect the dots there. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. But there is a segment on Star Wars official website. Um, where you have Luke Skywalker on Exegol. He is battling race. I mean, again, it looks like it just came from the pages of, of Lord of the Rings. Um, but as he is battling race, uh, he finds, and spoiler alert, in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, wow. 1, uh, he finds... Uh, Anakin Skywalker, the ghost of Anakin Skywalker, is at the end of of that fight. Mm-hmm. So, Anakin on Exegol. Hmm. Hey, <laughs> that's what we did, right? <laughs> Very and also, and also another, uh, we had him on, on Mustafar, but in Ghost of yeah. Mustafar, we were your daughter already told. I'm just saying, just a higher girl to save us to be your star. I'm just saying. Um, this is interesting. My theory on why Ben's hair is so dark is maybe the darkness inside him since he was born. Mm-hmm. I, you know, in the book, it, it says, I think in Aftermath, it says that uh, Leia saw Ben in the womb as a band of light with a vein mm-hmm. of darkness. And then Luke said to her, the greater the shadow, the greater the or the bigger the shadow, the greater the light. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. But I think Shmi's hair is also, it's dark brown, but it, mm-hmm. it, it's, it like leans light. Um, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, All interesting stuffs. And things. Another thing that is happening, if you uh, want to look at just some little uh, social media issues, is this lovely post on Star Wars Official that blew up on the internet. It sure did. It also (laughs) broke our Facebook. (laughs) Where have you been all our lives? That's (laughs) one of the first instances where Star Wars Official said Ben. And showed that beautiful, gorgeous picture of him as the as the main photo. They yep. could have chose Obi Wan Kenobi. You know, yep. they didn't. They chose mm-hmm. Ben Solo. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also have this little quote with um, Charles Soule, who is, if you don't know, he is the author of the Rise of Kylo Ren comic book series. Yeah. Um, this is also the illustrator. Bill Silney, who uh, illustrated the Rise of Kylo Ren series, and he said, keeping Kylo's fire alive, which intent <laughs> sounds like we're, we're getting more Kylo Ren stories, so or maybe Ben stories, too. We don't know. 
We don't know. We'll have to see. But they're keeping this character either, either alive. Way, it sells. Yeah. It sells keeping... and goes into second, third, and fourth printings. I mean, yeah. It sells. It sells. And so they're gonna they're gonna make more of it. Yep. So Ben is in the air. And that's ben very is good in news. The air. <laughs> I can't sing anymore else we'll get copyright struck. Oh, I know. I'm sorry, friend. It's okay. But Anything else that you want to talk about the concept art or remark about uh, the social media happenings in our life? <laughs> I just I think it's more of the same that we always kind of say when we come on air and, and talk about Ben Solo and Kylo Ren is that we stated two and a half years ago that we would be getting rumblings. Yeah. You know, we threw out some numbers, but regardless of of how much longer we have to wait there's going to be rumblings from yeah. then until it happens that he's going to be coming back it's money they've seen this and we have insider source knowledge and obviously you take all of that with a grain of salt but insiders and sources have have said all this too and it could be for views it could be obviously ben solo is always tr basically always trending on twitter uh, you type hashtag Ben Solo on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, wherever else, um, even here on YouTube, and his stuff sells. His yeah. stuff is in the thousands, thousands of views. So it's going to happen. It's not a matter of if. It's just a matter of when. One thing that I forgot to bring up is when we see Kylo Ren's Oracle in that new art, there was a comment on our Facebook that it said that some of this art looks like the um, Duel of the Fates. Mm -hmm. The, the Trevorrow script. Yeah. yeah, the Trevorrow script. I think the reason they said that is because this is the character that was in his script mm. that is Plagueis's, um, Plagueis's mentor. And that looks a lot like <laughs> the Oracle to me. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, the Oracle became like a spider looking thing on a mm -hmm. baby's head, but it sure looks like the evildoer in that script. Mm -hmm. Like, look at the, the, uh, um, it would have been amazing to link that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Should have, could have, would have. What a shit of could is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, Colin Trevorrow is, is listed on the credits for the Rise of Skywalker script. So they did keep yeah. a fragment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little bit of a toenail yeah. <laughs> of his ideas in mm -hmm. there. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's time for a Raylo Minute. <gasps> oh, you? Can, yeah, I can get that thing. All I can right. get it. All right, here we here we go. Raylo minute. Bounce if you don't like Raylo, but if you don't like Raylo, I don't know why you're here. Okay. <laughs> it's time for your Raylo minute. Yeah. Yes, 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 <laughs> friends. We have more Raylo merchandise. No, not merchandise that we're selling, but uh, new merchandise that is being provided to us, <laughs> and that's wonderful. Like. Like we said, this stuff sells. This stuff mm -hmm. sells. And this is almost this is also like a month month past, but again, like did people talk about this? I like again, all of this information is not being discussed. Like I even I even searched asked some friends that her are on Twitter and I'm like, has this been discussed? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> because and I did some research on youtube i'm not now if someone else finds this please let me know but i hardly found anything of people talking about it the reason we know it is because a lovely person on instagram messaged us mm -hmm. uh, this website so if it wasn't for that lovely friend thank you so much but yes this is the join me figurines it's absolutely stunning um, I'm not so wild about Ray's because uh, I wish she was in an aggressive stance all well, it's the like time. A, it's like a deodorant ad. 
<laughs> yeah. Do I smell fresh, Kyla? Yeah, for Dove or, you know, Secret. Like, Milo, I know. But um, look yeah, at, it's gorgeous. Look at Kylo Ren's. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I know you said it best. I don't like toys, but I... Oh, I wouldn't even call them toys. They are figurines. There's a difference. They're six hundred dollars a piece, I believe. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Excuse me. Yeah, they're like six hundred dollars. Six zero zero. Yes, ma'am. Ain't nobody got that type of money right now. <laughs> I know, but it, war, I... inflation, gas, food shortages. Kudos, hats off if you got, you know, six to 1200 bones to, to just throw at this awesome sauce. Um, I'm going to see if it shows up at an estate sale. Uh, <laughs> like $600. I can, I can oh find my God. that. I went to the official website and I could not find it. So they don't, they, the, the pictures of them exist, but they don't exist. They don't exist. Or they're so sold I'm- out. I'm thinking they might be sold out because wow. there is none of them and they're, People they're bought collectibles. Them up. Well, read it. Like, this is from Collider. <laughs> Collider said yeah. this. Collider what's, said this. <laughs> what's great about these figures is that they were most definitely created with Raylo fans in mind, given that Kylo Ren is quite literally reaching for Ray and beckoning her towards him. The Ray Premium format figure is also a testament to Ray's strengths and abilities. At 20.5 inches tall and 11.5 inches wide, she features she features a mixed media costume with tailored white fabric robes enhancing the action-packed sculpt of her white bodysuit. Wondering how her outfit seems to be flowing with the ocean moon they're on? Well, the figure includes wire in the hem for dynamic posing in the windy surf of the ocean moon of Endor. Now, all we need is for Sideshow to make a Ben Solo shrugging figure, and our greatest dreams will be realities. Hmm. <laughs> do it. It was Just created for Rayla fans. Why? Because we're obviously we bought the shit out of it. So yeah. <laughs> we can't find it anymore. Things things that are Raylo buy out. Yep. Like the, the wallet and the backpack, the backpack. and yeah. the Ben Solo Funko Pop and mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I love the subtitle to this this article. Kaylee Blue fix- said sideshow figures are handmade by elves under a mountain out of pixie dust. There we go. That's why they're so expensive. That's why they're six hundred dollars. They were forged wow. in the, the they were yeah. forged in the fires of Mordor. <laughs> yeah. Crafted by elves in Rivendell. Yeah. I love the, the subject. Visible only by moonlight. Yeah. It's crazy. You can, you can fix the ending of Rise of Skywalker to get your own satisfaction. <laughs> Dang right. We've done it. We did it. They know it too well. <laughs> so many people have done it already. <laughs> now we can act it out. It's great. <laughs> I'm so excited for the motion cap <laughs> things that will come out of this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah. That is they are just, gorgeous. That they is very just gorgeous. gorgeous. Yes. I concur. And they got a space <laughs> right pretty much. Yeah. I mean they, yeah. they do. Yeah. Like, you know, it's Kylo is Adam Driver is is hard to capture. And I think it's because The planes of his face are so unique. Mm -hmm. No, he's just a very unusual looking person. So like different angles of his face look different. So that's my, uh, my thought. Joseph Michael with a super chat. Thank you so much. Raylo is the only thing that really worked in the sequel trilogy. Everything else was just gobbledygook. Yeah, I, I, unfortunately, I agree with that. I, posted this on our instagram story and my favorite comment is from the real chess uh chelsea uh t um (laughs) i love her explanation of this i like how the highlighted highlighted ray always being the first to attack and ben is always like sweetheart i don't want to fight i'm sick of this so join me it really is she nailed it And you see that in the Lego video, yep. you know, yep. you, you see that in the very beginning on the Death Star in the actual movie where she just lunges for him and is like, 
his hands go up like what <laughs> what are yeah. you doing it's like if only you would have taken my hand stop being ridiculous i just want to hang out just want to hang out i, I love that wanna chill i just want to hang chill. out why, why can't we go why can't we just hang days? out <laughs> <laughs> yes oh yep disney prince for sure yes he's that's the aragorn stance i swore to protect you oh why did you say that because that's true it is true yeah yeah yep well y'all this has been your raylo minute this has been your raylo I'm so glad you did that because I was not ready. I was like, oh my God, I need to go- I'm in the comments. I need to go back to brand. I need to scroll down. Oh, she did it. Okay. <laughs> so glad. I got gotcha. you. I got you back. It's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. We have mm-hmm. one more thing to do. Yep. And then uh, and that is to announce uh, a merch sale. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Boo. Merch, merch, merch. Slip into spring. Slip into a tea. Classic teas, $13. Everything else up to 35% off through Sunday. Bye, bye, bye. Yes. Not B-Y-E. B-U-Y. 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 If you can. Thank you. My uh, yep. my, my parents bought, a, bought me one of our hoodies our little girl avatar hoodies for Mm -hmm. easter it's so cute (laughs) all of all of it is amazing it is so cute if you don't know these two little avatars right here of lou and me uh it's on merch in our store and i and i got i grabbed it and it's just so cute i didn't do that so i can say that with (laughs) with (laughs) sheer humility it was humility it was done by a lovely artist from public so and i i liked i liked what they did thank you t public Mm -hmm. thank you very much t public so yep merch sale going on now through sunday Check out the link in our description to this video and get yourself some good merch because it's the last sale of the month. Uh Yeah. Joseph Michael with a super chat. Thank you. Is anyone else excited or scared for Dr. Strange and the Multiverse of Madness? I'm excited. I'm excited because we get to see Loki. Yeah, we get to see Loki. Mm -hmm. I am a little nervous about what will happen to our our friend Wanda. It looks like from the trailer. I look. It looks like from the trailer, if if she's antagonistic, antagonistic, she's a some. They're sympathetic towards her. Like yes, uh, Doctor Strange looks sympathetic, but I hope they don't punish her. No, oh, for I, I'm just afraid yeah. for what she went through, WandaVision, and all of the people who wanted her to be punished for what happened to the town. I just hope they they don't make her suffer at the end she's trying to save her kids i think hopefully they they do her justice yeah and she gets a happy ending yeah just like loki i hope they take like marvel is is doing to these villains what some people in other universes have failed to do (laughs) yeah yeah oh we can only hope can't we (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Uh, All right. That's what we got. We gone down did it in less than 45 minutes. Yay! That was our goal. <laughs> <laughs> as I as I uh, posted all of these things, I'm like, I hope this live stream is not 2 hours long. <laughs> we're, we're real bore people. No. We gone down did it. Thanks, friend. Oh. Thank you, friend, for good times. Making the time to come and chat with us. So, friends, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thank you for uh, supporting us in, in all the ways for liking, subscribing, just watching and chatting with us is, is wonderful. Thank you. As always, until the next time we stream, may the force be with you. 
Peace, love, and Raylo. And Ben Solo lives. Goodbye.